Good evening, everybody. <laughs> this is uh, Archie Bunker of uh, 704 Houser Street, veteran of the big war, speaking on behalf of Guns for Everybody. Now, question. What was the first thing that the communists done when they took over Russia? Answer, gun control. And there's a lot of people in this country who want to do the same thing to us here in a kind of conspiracy, see. You take your big international bankers, uh, they want to, what do you call, uh, masticate the people of this here nation like puppets on a wing. And then when they get that done, they turn us over to the communists. Oh, Archie, I'm now, glad they put you on a stool. You, you look today, taller sitting I down. <laughs> now, I want to talk about another thing that's on everybody's mind today, and that's your stick-ups and your sky jackets, which, uh, if that was up to me, I could end the sky jackets tomorrow. You could. All you got to do is arm all your passengers. <laughs> you know what you can't he ain't got no more superiority there, and he ain't going to dare to pull out no rod. And uh, then your airlines, then they wouldn't have to chase the passengers on the ground no more. They just pass out the pistols at the beginning of the trip, and they pick them up again at the end. Case closed. That's incredible, Art. <laughs> what do you mean, incredible? What I said made damn good sense to me, even when I heard it played back on the television. I hated every word you said, but you sure came through loud and clear. Well, experience tells, Meathead, you don't command men on a loading platform without learning something. <laughs> wow, this has really been quite a day, Daddy. You were on television and I got a job. Yeah. It's him. <laughs> You're him? The guy I just saw on television down the street, Mr. Bunker. That's right, you seen the show? Hey, I want to shake your hand. Hey, see, pleased to meet you. Hey, listen to this, the public here. Man, I really dug what you said about those guns. I mean, I couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, I bet you're real proud of him, oh, huh? Yeah, oh, I can't. Well, you know, I'm just trying to set the public straight on something, that's all. Like when you said, guns are what brings law and order to our cities. Yeah, and what shoot a hundred policemen a year. Who's this? <laughs> He's only my son-in-law. Don't pay no attention to him. He's a meat-headed student. He don't know nothing about the real world. Listen, you ought to listen to him. Like when he said, quote, guns are just like free speech. Beautiful. Well, the truth is beautiful. Beautiful. You said it all, fella. Why don't you have a beer with us? You Oh, no, actually, I, I gotta get to work now. Uh, Lewis, put your money in the hat. What? Huh? What? 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 Don't shoot now. Here, here, here. In your wristwatch. Oh, Archie. Give it to a meter, they'll kill me. <laughs> well, that's it now, folks. Lewis, oh, by the way, Mr. Bunker, did you pay for those drinks? No. Bartender? The drinks are on me. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> <laughs>